Hey there everyone, I hope you're all having a great day today. Today we're going to be unboxing something very exciting, as you can see here by the white uh, special box. Now, this is so much more awesome than the regular white Seiko Deluxe box you see there. Um, here you got the booklets. We are looking at the new Willards today. Yes, the modern 1970 reinterpretation models. And here we got the black faced Willard um, with the, the bracelet band. Very cool. And soon we will remove the plastic and we will see more coolness of it. And here you go. So you get a good shot there on the camera. Um, wow, yeah, this is a really impressive looking watch. It looks great. And you can see here, um, it's got the bracelet. It looks like all the other bracelets, but this is especially uh, redesigned, a little bit heavier duty, solid link construction on this metal bracelet band. So definitely um, improvements from the the models from last year, the the 1968. Um, those are great watches, but this one here, they they kind of up the ante with the bracelet band, which is very nice to see them do because they've been kind of going to their old um, standard bracelets. So this one is a little more heavy duty, uh, very nice. So today in this video, we're not only going to be looking at one of the Seiko Willards, this one, the black face with the metal bracelet, but we will be also taking a look at the other Willard, the green face with the, the new rubber strap that they, they put on there. Um, this one here, the black with the metal bracelet, this one is priced at um, $1,300 here in the U.S. So as you, most of you know, last year um, came out the first uh, limited edition uh, reinterpretation of the Willard, and that was the SLA-033. Uh, that movement had an 8L movement. It was um, basically an introductory uh, Grand Seiko movement in it. And um, it was limited edition to about 2,000 watches. And uh, it retailed for four, $4,250. So these are much more reasonably priced. Um, the movement is a step down, but it is definitely worth the price. Um, the caliber is the 6R35. So with the 6R35 movement, um, both of these watches we're looking at have the 6R35 movement. It's actually a little more convenient. It's got a 70 hour power reserve. So that means if you put it down for a day or two, um, you can still pick it up and it will still keep the time, which is very convenient because, you know, sometimes you're switching watches and you forget to, to keep an eye on it or if you don't have a watch winder. So um, it's great to have a 70 hour uh, power reserve on these models. So the model we have here, the black dial, black bezel, and um, stainless steel bracelet. This one is SPB151, and it is the modern interpretation of the 1970s uh, diver's watch. So if you're looking for this watch, um, again, the model number is SPB151. Seiko does not call it the Willard. The Willard comes from um, the movie Apocalypse Now, Martin Sheen played Captain Willard and he wore this watch and that is where the name came from and that's the story behind it. it is never really an official Seiko name um, this one is the modern interpretation of that 1970s divers watch and here we are looking at the green faced one as you can see this one's quite a beauty um, I like the green faced one the black one is great for traditional um, the green one it's different you know I mean how many of us have black face diver watches but um, the green one is a little different it's not like your hulk green or the the green from the sumo you see this one is a darker uh, more military colored green uh, kind of like an olive green and here you can see the new strap on it this rubber strap is phenomenal it's not like the accordion strap that they throw on all the divers watches so i'm kind of glad that they did something different and they uh, came up with this rubber band. Um, it's a reinterpretation of one of their older uh, rubber bands. So this uh, green face modern interpretation of the 1970s dive watch, the green dial one is called the SPB153 and it has the silicone strap with it. 
and what's the main difference between these Willards of this year and the limited edition of 2,500 of last year? First of all, I told you about the movement. Um, the other one was a higher end movement, a caliber 8L35, but these year's models are not limited edition and they are a caliber 6R35. Besides that, there is a size difference. Um, the, the Willard, the SLA033, the one from last year that was a limited edition, um, that one's about a 45 millimeter case on that. And these new models have a 42.7 millimeter case. So there is a difference in size in the watches. Now, both of these watches are indeed dive watches, real dive watches. Um, they follow the ISO standards for scuba diving. They're 200 meter water resistance and they both have um, screw down crowns on each of the watch. Now the bezel is a unidirectional rotating uh, elapsed timing bezel. And the case back is a um, screw down case back as well. And the crystal on the watch is a dual curved sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the inner surface. Now the dial of these watches also are, have uh, Luma bright hands and markers on the watch. These watches are mechanical watches. The 6R35 is a automatic watch with manual winding capability. This is a professional dive watch and is part of Seiko's Prospects line. As you can see here, I've got both models um, set up right next to each other so you can compare them. The SPB151 is the one with the stainless steel bracelet and the SPB153 is the one with the silicone strap. Now these models have been designed a little smaller than the SLA033 and it's designed to be worn and used more than the previous limited edition version of it. And for those of you who like to switch watch bands, I know I do, um, the lug size for these are about 20 millimeter. So a little different than a lot of the Seiko watches lately have been about a 22 millimeter for their dive watches. Uh, this one is a 20 meter, 20 millimeter size. You know, when they first announced these uh, new modern interpretation of the 1970 or Willard's coming out, after the SLA 033, I wasn't too excited. Um, you know, I wasn't that impressed, but when you get them in hand, you look at these watches, well, they're really nice. They feel good. They've got a, a good design to them. And they're now one of my favorite um, Seiko uh, modern interpretation watches. They're very cool. So yeah, when they first announced it, I wasn't too crazy about it. Um, I've got a lot of different uh, 68 models I've looked at. Uh, they seem to have gone nuts with the, the 68 version. And so I was like, oh no, I hope they don't make a million different versions of the Willard. But these two really kind of stand out. They do not look nice. And you know, you look at them, they, they have that vintage feel, but they're not exactly vintage. So overall, I'm pretty impressed. Take this from somebody who wasn't really looking forward to seeing them. But when I got them in hand, I was thoroughly impressed with these models. Again, very nice watches, um, a wonderful addition, but they also um, pay a lot of tribute to the original 1970s watch. So you can see here, um, I've got the watch on my wrist, uh, both of the different models go one by one, checking them out. And as you can see, uh, it's a nice size watch. It's not really overpowering. It's not very big, but it is a 42.7 millimeter. My wrist is about a seven and a half inch wrist. And when you hear 42.7, you might think it's a big watch, but the way they design the lugs on this watch and the curve of the case is really comfortable. And um, if fits like a smaller one you're not going to bump into it as much uh, just overall a great design here with this watch now the case is a stainless steel case with uh, super hard coating as for the bezel none of the literature ever really discusses what the bezel is made of it is some sort of stainless steel or aluminum insert 
um, it definitely is not a ceramic and um, here you can see the watch uh, and the loom uh, both the watches they look great as usual Seiko has great loom on their dials and I would like to take thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video um, I'd like y'all have a good one thank you bye